approximately 147, we received a call that there was an accident here involving one plane. Uh, we responded out momentarily, had multiple agencies. We had Huntsville Fire, Huntsville uh, Police, as well as the Madison City Police Department, Madison City Fire, a number of other agencies, and I'm sure that I'm forgetting some, but working well together, a bunch. Arrived on scene, we did have a plane down. It was fully engulfed. Uh, they extinguished the flame. We started working it. Identified that we did have two passengers on the plane, a man and a woman. At this point, uh, what we've done is we've worked it as a crime scene. We've protected the scene. We've notified the FAA as well as the NSTB, and they're en route. Uh, we expect to see the FAA probably here within the next 30 minutes. But uh, at this point, both the victims have been removed. Uh, the crime scene is pretty much finished. We're just finishing up on a few details. And what we'll do is we'll secure the scene and hold it until morning. Um, were you able to, to make any headway towards next of kin or to narrow that down, or, or you do have an idea of who they were? Well, see, and this is the problem. We do have an idea who we think it is, but until we do dental records checks, there's no way of knowing. Okay. So the last thing, we, there's no one we can notify until we know who it is for sure. So you haven't really ascertained who they are yourselves at that's, this point? That's correct. Okay. Um, like I said, we have a belief who they are, but we don't know for sure. Okay. And the belief is based on the flight plan or the documentation that was filed? Through our investigation. Okay. Yes, sir. You, see, you were saying earlier the, uh, the, uh, what led to it was a, a call to the, the aircraft made a call to the uh, airport tower? Was that That's absolutely correct. The plane actually notified the Huntsville Airport, indicated that they were having engine problems and requested emergency landing, but unfortunately weren't able to make it. Okay, do you have any idea how what the time frame was between the, the time they radioed in the first report of trouble and when uh, Tower lost them or they went down? I don't have an exact time, but I know it was a brief. It was very short. A matter of a couple of minutes? I would think so. Now, there again, I'd be speculating. When we, re we received the call, it was a plane in trouble and a plane had crashed, and we were probably within a minute's time. How did you first get the call? Was it people in the, there was, there, we talked to some eyewitnesses, but how did you first? People in the neighborhood. Calls? Talk with the dispatch. Dispatch indicated that the phones, what they refer to is just light up because everybody starts calling. Right. You know, something of this magnitude draws a lot of attention. And interestingly enough, there was a young lady that was actually in the neighborhood walking and uh, the plane almost hit her. She was running for her life. What, and, what did uh, she tell you about that? Did she, have you interviewed her or got the statement? We have, we have information from her that basically she was just terrified that it was, horrific event. She was so sorry. She was more concerned for the people inside the plane and their, than her own safety.